We're now joined by UFC Women's Flyweight, Montana De La Rosa, and we'll take her first set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with k Press. Hey, Montana, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great. Enjoying this uh, quarantine in. <laughs> uh, how's it going? Because I believe this is your second fight of, you know, the quarantine era, so to speak. Um, yeah, second fight that actually happened. My last fight was scheduled and then my husband got COVID and then I got it after. So that one was canceled. But I mean, I'm kind of used to it now, used to being here. I know what to expect and I'm just excited for Saturday night. I want to go back to that last one, obviously scrapped at the last minute. Can you just describe how it all happened, getting the news that one of you guys was positive and just that immediate aftermath? Yeah, I mean, the whole week was normal, uh, made weight, uh, got back, got some good sleep, woke up in the morning and then kind of did like a shakeout. And then we got a text and that said his test came back positive and they wanted to test him again. So he got tested and then we kind of waited a little bit, acted like I was still going to fight because we never knew if it was going to be positive or negative. Um, and then it came back positive again. So we realized the fight was going to be canceled and yeah, it really sucked. Just went back home, started training again, um, had a little vacation and then got back to it. Now you said that your husband had uh, gotten it and did you say confirm you'd also tested positive for COVID yourself? Yeah, I got it a few weeks after him and I didn't really have any symptoms. I just had like a headache. He had like a fever and a headache for a couple days understand um obviously you know with the last fight canceled you know out of that precaution but was there ever any talk about trying to get you back in the cage sooner since you'd already gone through a bit of a mini camp and everything uh just like the first day they told me they asked me if i wanted to fight two weeks later and i was like well i think i'm gonna get it like i don't know if there's a point in scheduling me when i'm probably gonna test positive which i'm glad they just gave her another fight i think she fought jillian so uh, she was able to get in there right away, and we had to deal with COVID going around the household for that month. Understood. Well, I'm glad you guys are all doing well. Um, my final question, just how do you feel you match up stylistically with Myra? Um, I think she's a super tough uh, Brazilian. She has two really good uh, wins in the UFC with some arm bars. She's really good on the ground. Um, I'm just excited to test my skills against her and show everybody on Saturday. Hey, thank you, Montana, and good luck. Thank you. We'll take our next set of questions from Cote Cruz with Ordering that MMA. We'll actually jump to Zach with UFC.com. Okay. So I'll ask the questions, but you can still look into the camera for this. Oh, okay. Um, so after your last fight, you, you know, you came in, you had, you had worked with uh, guys in Denver and uh, it seemed like you were pretty, uh, felt good about your performance. Can you just talk about the takeaways from that last fight? Because it was a close fight and it seemed like it was kind of razor thin when it went to judges. Yeah, I mean, I felt really good in there, like better than I've actually ever felt in a fight. I felt confident. Um, I sparred a lot. I felt great with um, all my coaches and my training partners um, going into that fight. I knew I would be a lot better on the feet. Uh, I was obviously disappointed with the decision, but um, I was just glad I could get in there and just feel myself and express myself in the cage. And, you know, as you know, you've gone through a couple of camps, a couple more camps now. Um, how have you kind of built off of that performance, even though, you know, maybe you didn't get the result that you wanted, but like you said, you felt really good in there. Yeah, it's just uh, just being more and more confident in there uh, every time I step into the cage. Um, just having my coaches with me every fight, um, I think just makes me more and more confident and going back to the drawing board and taking what I learned from that fight and applying it onto the next ones. And then you spoke to what um, kind of interests you about this matchup. Is there kind of any like statement you'd like to make with this performance other than obviously getting a win? Um, no, I mean, the goal is always to go in there and get a win and whatever comes after that is just a bonus. And then as you kind of look forward, and this is the last one for me, um, you look forward to 2021. What um, are you kind of envisioning on time in terms of like the amount of fights you want to have, especially as uh, the UFC continues to put on events with, with pretty regular scheduling here? Yeah, I mean, three fights a year sounds great to me. Yeah. So just keep doing three fights a year.